If you've been to my channel before, you know that I love simple solutions to make life better here in the garage. Well, I found a new tool that makes changing wheels and tires a whole lot easier. Let me introduce you to the Track Tire Jack. Let's check this out. Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. I don't mention this too much because there's typically no reason to, but I, I've got some minor back issues from lifting weights a few years ago, and as a result, I'm pretty careful about moving heavier, awkward objects, and that's why I'm not really much of a fan of changing wheels and tires. But even if that wasn't the case, I don't look forward to it, and I think that most of you watching this doesn't either, unless you do it for a living, or you're just weird. I mean, here's why. First of all, they could be heavy and awkward. Here's the rear wheel and tire of my Corvette. It is a 19 inch wheel with a tire that's over 13 inches wide. Now it is not light at over 65 pounds. Removing a wheel and tire like this isn't very difficult since gravity is your friend and you're just sliding the wheel off the studs, but putting it back on is just the opposite. Gravity is gonna work against you while you're trying to line up five or more holes with five or more wheel studs while you're lifting it up at the same time. It can sometimes be a real drag. And this is how it seems that a lot of people do it. They line the wheel up as close as they can, then they sit their butt down on the concrete floor and use their feet to try to balance and position the wheel and tire in place. I usually don't get the studs lined up right and I bang up the back of the wheel pad with the studs trying to line it up. It's just not fun. Now, nah, I just might not be as good at it as what some people are, but uh, like most, I uh, prefer to work smarter and not harder wherever possible. And I know that a lot of you would agree with that and wouldn't mind spending a few bucks to solve a problem like what I'm illustrating here. And here is the solution that I found to that problem. This is the Track Tire Jack, and you can catch all the details at liftwithtrack, that's T-R-A-C, dot com. But I'm going to give you the basic overview of it here. The, the first thing you might notice by looking at it is it looks like it's maybe like half of a skateboard. It's a, it's a pretty simple design, but as simple as what it is, it does have two patents on it, and it does have a lifetime warranty. It, uh, it's made out of heavy-duty steel, and I do mean heavy. This thing is pretty stout. And uh, it probably weighs about five or six pounds. And it's about 18 or 90, 19 inches long, about five or six inches wide. And it sits about a couple inches off the floor when it rolls across it using this roller right here. So again, really simple design to get the job done. So the question is, how effective is it at getting the job done for as simple as what it is? Well, I'm going to show you. Now the beauty of this is that it's actually just a really well designed lever where the weight is of course the wheel and the tire and the effort is here on this end which is significantly reduced by the roller on the bottom that acts as the fulcrum. And if you don't have a smooth surface like what I've got, I'll bet you can get away with using a piece of hardboard or plywood or MDF or maybe even some cardboard in a pinch. Okay, as you can see, I've got the car jacked up, I got the lugs off, and I got the bottom of the tire about two inches off the concrete floor. Now here's how you remove a wheel and tire using the track tire jack. First, put your free hand on top of the tire to steady it. Grab the track tire jack right here, roll it under, push down, and just pull the wheel and tire right off. And it makes this 60 pound wheel and tire feel rather light. It's pretty easy to maneuver as you need to. And putting a wheel and tire back on the car using the track tire jack is just as easy because it's just the opposite. Put your hand on the top, grab the track tire jack, tilt the tire back just a little bit so you can get it underneath there. Push down, line the lugs up as best as you can, nice and easy. And it goes right on just like that. This is the first time I've done this and it's pretty simple. It makes short work out of putting the heavy wheel and tire, taking it off and putting it back on. Barely even got my hands dirty on this. So to me, personally, this thing right here is worth the money. It really reduces the effort of changing wheels and tires quite a bit. I mean, it's really heavy duty, as you saw, and it doesn't take up much space at all, so you can throw it in your car, especially if you're going to go to the track and need to make tire swaps while you're there. Above all, it makes life in the garage pretty easy for guys like me, and I can also see how it could make life even easier for people who sling wheels and tires all day long. Um, and I got a whole lot of respect for those guys, by the way. Their job is not easy. So if you do that all day long, or if you've got a lift in your garage, which I do wish that I had here in my garage, you might want to check out the Track Tire Rotation Assistance Cart, which is made by the same company and also has two patents on it as well. 
And you can get that and the track tire jack once again at liftwithtrack.com. That's T R A C. So I hope this helps some of you guys save some time and effort the next time you're doing wheel and tire swaps in your garage or shop. Thanks as always for hanging out in my garage with me. And I'll see you in my next video with more product reviews, how to's, general garage life, and more. I'll see you then.